I'm going to show you how to make your team slides look from something like this to this. And the best part about this tutorial is that it's very easy to follow. It doesn't take too long and it makes your slides look really professional. So without further ado, let's get started. All right. So the first thing that I'm going to do over here is insert a new slide. I'm going to show, make sure that I insert a new blank slide. I'm going to insert a text box. So I'll click on insert, add a text box over here, and then just type in the title of the slide. And I'm just going to change the font to Calibri Bold and increase the size to about 40. I think that looks nice. And also change the color of the text to orange. And that's the consistent theme that we're going with, at least for this tutorial. All right, so the next thing that we wanna do over here is create these shapes for each of these three team members and then copy their images and insert them into the shapes, including their the names and the titles. One thing that I want to highlight is that this design works really well, not just with these hexagon shapes, but also if you wanna go with a circular shape or a square shape, it works just the same way and it looks really nice. But in my personal opinion, I would highly recommend either going with this hexagon shape or a circle shape. So let's get started. What I'm going to do over here is just click on insert and add the hexagon shape over here. So that's the hexagon shape. And I'm going to click on shift and create a perfect hexagon as per the size that you deem fit. And I'm just going to adjust the uh, handles. I feel like this hexagon is a little wide. What I want to do is just squeeze in a little bit. So I'm just going to drag this yellow button over here, yellow handle, and make it a little more tight. And once you're satisfied, you can just click out. I'm just going to make this a slightly bigger. And then you can duplicate this shape onto the slide. I want to press the control key on my keyboard and just drag this around. Or you can even use the command D or the control D option to duplicate the shape on your slide. So I'm just going to repeat that once again. And I'm going to create three shapes because we have three individuals over here. And uh, the first thing that I want to do is go to the first slide and bring in this person over here and paste this image over here. Then I want to drag it over the shape um, over here and then I'm going to right click and send it to back. Okay, so what we want to do over here is try and adjust this the face of the individual as neatly as possible over the shape. Now, it doesn't have to be perfect because I'm going to show you a way to edit the image once you've added the image to the shape. So let's first learn how to add the image to the shape. Now that's very simple, it's very easy. Just select the image first and then select the shape. And then I'm going to go to the shape format tab and then to the merge shape options and click on it. From the drop down, I'm going to select intersect. All right, so that already looks nice. Now I want to add an outline to the shape. So I'm going to right click on, on the shape over here. Click on format shape. Go to the line option and add the solid line and increase it to about 2.5 points. I think that looks nice. Now I notice that the person's face is looking slightly bigger as compared to the shape itself. So we are quickly going to adjust that. Select the shape over here. Click on picture format and click on crop. Now here you can adjust the size of the image by dragging the outside part and then adjusting it. Just make sure that the face is aligned with the axis of the shape. So, you know, the middle of the shape is perfectly aligned with these two axes over here, vertical and horizontal axis. And once you're satisfied, just click outside the shape and there you have it. So you have the first shape ready. Now all I'm gonna do is uh, just copy the name of the person and the designation to the slide as well. Bring it down. Or reduce the font size. This one I'm going to make it even slightly more smaller. So maybe around 12 is fine. And reduce the shape, uh, the size of the text box. And also center align it. I'm going to do that for this shape as well. Sorry, this text box as well. And also center align it. Um, let's just increase this slightly more. I think 22 would be nice. And then we just add the orange color. And then this one. I'm just going to make it slightly more lighter. I don't want to go with a black color. I'm just going to go with a gray color over here and bring it slightly closer to the name. All right, so now the next thing that we need to do is just select the image over here, the name and the designation, and uh, go to Shape Format tab, click on Align and Align to Center. And the next thing that we want to do is just right click over here and group them together. Awesome, so we have the first image of the person ready. Now, all we need to do is just repeat the steps for the second and the third shape. So I'm going to fast forward this video and do these things for you.
All right, so what I've done over here is added the images of the two individuals from these two slides over here and also created the text box for their names and the titles. I've not added the titles and the names right yet. I just wanted to show you a couple of quick hacks that uh, you know a lot of people don't know about. As you can see, I don't have the borders of the image over here. Now, I could go ahead and right click on the, uh, on the image and go to the format pictures option, add the border. But a quicker way over here is to select this image over here, go to the home tab and click on format and this click over here on this image. And we're going to repeat that over here very quickly. Just duplicate the format from the first image. Instead of repeating the steps that you did in the first case, it's a much faster, much easier way to apply the format across shapes, across images and make it look more consistent. Now, the second thing that I wanted to show you over here is I've created these text boxes over here. So what we can do is just copy the text from the second slide and paste it over here. But instead of uh, directly pasting it and changing the format and center aligning it once again, what we can do is just click on this option over here and choose to keep the text only. What this is going to allow you to do is ensure that you just copy the text from the other slide and directly into the text box while retaining the formatting which is there inside this text box. So I want to repeat the steps for the designation and the names and designation of this person as well. All right, so what we've done is we've gone ahead and added the, uh, the details of all these three members. So I'm just gonna um, group them together over here. And uh, essentially what we've done is created these three groups of team members. And uh, just to make sure that they're evenly distributed, I'm just gonna you know, give it a right amount of space over here, equivalent to what we have over here. And just select the three groups together and go back to the shape format tab and click on distribute horizontally. And there you have it. At this point in time, you're pretty much ready with your team slide. I have added a few additional elements to make the slide look nicer. And I would highly recommend that you do this as well. And it's pretty straightforward to add. It's very simple to add. You can do your own designs over here, but I'm going to show you what I have done very quickly over here. Now, here I've just added the logo of the company and just to balance this logo without having this shape, you know, if you can just remove the shape, you will see that there's an empty space over here. Just to balance this out, uh, I've added this random shape over here onto the slide. And over here, I've just added a very interesting design to the page number. So I'm going to show you each of these three things that I've created and you don't have to do these again. Uh, but if you do add, it does make your slides look nicer. So let's just learn how do I do that. So the first thing that I want to add is this shape over here. So it's pretty straightforward. Just go to insert options, click on shapes and add this cloud shape. That's what I've done over here. And we'll just create this cloud shape the way you like it. And I'm just going to create this very quickly over here. And I'm going to change the outline to no outline and shape fill to orange. That's the theme that we've been going with. And just bring in the, the logo of the company onto this shape over here. There you go. There you have it. So let's just quickly preview this over here. I think we just need to make this slightly more arranged. So we're just going to make it move a little, adjust it a little. Now, a quick tip over here is you don't actually have to keep looking at the full screen version all the time. You can actually very quickly preview the design over here. So it looks nice to me already, but let's just do a quick preview on the full screen. And it does look nice. So pretty satisfied with this shape over here. Now, for this shape, what I've done over here is uh, it's pretty, it's pretty interesting. Uh, I've actually added just a very simple rectangle. And uh, here's what I've done. I've just gone to the insert option, clicked on shape options and add a rectangle over here. And then I've just right clicked on this shape and click on edit points. And here you have the liberty to just, you know, maneuver around the way you would want to do whatever you want to do. Just, you know, adjust the shape such that it, it's not angular anymore. It's just a very has a curvy design, you know, um, and you just create a shape of your own, basically. All right. So this is just an example of how I've created a shape. You are free to just tinker with this the way you would like it. Um, this is how I've created the shape. It's not exactly the same shape, but you know, you can just go ahead and adjust this further if you would like. For now, I'm just going to, you know, select, go with this shape over here. I'm going to remove the outline and just change the shape color to the orange. I'm just going to adjust the shape color to slightly a lighter fill color to something like this would look nice to me. So when you see in this preview, I think this is what it looks like and it looks interesting. 
And as for this page number, what I've done over here is just click on insert shape options, go to shapes, and then click on this rounded rectangle shape on the diagonal corners, create a perfect rectangle, adjust these handles a little bit, rotate it, and decrease the shape size to something like this, and remove the outline once again, change the shape fill color to orange, We'll reduce the size of the shape a little bit and uh, I'm also going to insert a text box so I'm going to click on insert add a text box inside the shape or on top of the shape and when you have the cursor clicking inside the text box just click on the insert tab and insert the slide number so this will add the slide number to your slide now we're going to adjust the slide number over here so I'm going to select the slide number over here and reduce the text size to something like this make it bold and white to contrast with the background orange. And I'm just gonna zoom in and adjust the text box over here. All right, so that looks nice. So let's just preview this into full screen. I'm just gonna hide myself. Let's just preview this in the full screen. So there you go, there you have it. It looks much nicer than what we had over here. This is the plain slide that we had. And this already looks so much better than uh, the, that other design. Now in the original design that I showed you, I actually had a, a bit of animation added to the slide. So when you click on it, the elements on the slide appear. And then uh, or further pressing the next arrow button, you actually have each of the team members appear. If you want to learn how I created the animation for this slide, watch out for my tutorial which should be appearing on your screen right now. I'll also leave a link to that video in the description below. If you found this video helpful, make sure that you subscribe to this channel and like this video. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye bye.